ICQB, Foundation Level, Question 6. Which of the following statements correctly describes the difference between testing and debugging? A. Testing identifies the source of defects. Debugging analyzes the defects and proposes prevention activities. B. Dynamic testing shows failures caused by defects. Debugging eliminates the defects, which are the source of failures. C. Testing removes faults, but debugging removes defects that cause the faults. D. Dynamic testing prevents the cause of failures. Debugging removes the failures. Please press pause to choose your own answer before you see the correct answer on the screen. Correct answer is B. Dynamic testing shows failures caused by defects in the software. Debugging eliminates the defects, which are the source of failures. According to ICQB syllabus, we will see the exact quotes for this in the section explanation a little later. Answer A is wrong, because testing does not identify the source of defects. Debugging identifies the source of defects. Yes, debugging can analyze the defects and fixing the cause of defects, unlikely propose prevention activities. Answer C is wrong, because testing does not remove faults. Debugging removes cause of failure or failure. Answer D is wrong, because dynamic testing only triggers a failure or shows the presence of defect, not prevent the causes of failures. Explanation. However, let's look at the section 1.1.2, testing and debugging in the ICQV syllabus where we can see the following statement. When dynamic testing triggers a failure, debugging is concerned which finding causes of the failure or defects, analyzing these causes and eliminating them. This is consistent with the correct answer B. Main idea is testing only triggers a failure. It's a task for quality control engineer or quality assurance engineer. Debugging finding and eliminate the cause of failure. It's a task for developer. 